Good morning and welcome to Yin Yoga. Uh, we are currently in the cultural center, in the fitness center. And today, um, a couple highlights for class today. You will need a blanket or a towel. And you can go ahead and when you have that blanket or towel, go ahead and like roll it up. We'll be using that pretty shortly. And then you'll also need some water, your mat, a wall space. Um, and then if you can find, if you have yoga blocks, or if not, what I use is like a book, like a hardcover book. Um, like I have these anatomy cards and this has been, been used as my yoga block lately, so that kind of works, something like that. Um, and if you're not watching this live right now, and you're watching this at a later time, um, please have a timer with you. So as we go through yin yoga, you are basically holding postures for anywhere between two to five, six minutes, which I know sounds like agony, but it's really to stretch out the fascia or the connective tissue surrounding the muscles. And it's really good for your body. It's one of my favorites. Um, so if you are watching this at a later time, I invite you to maybe pause the video after I cue you in, and you can hold that pose for, you know, anywhere between two to six, five minutes, and then you can go ahead and play the video and let me cue you through. Um, that's just an invitation. And if you are alive right now, and you go ahead and you have your wall space, your mat, your blanket rolled up, your blocks, go ahead and we're going to actually start on our bellies on the mat today. So taking your time, coming onto your belly, and when you get down to your belly, go ahead and stack your hands, and go ahead and bring your forehead down on top of your right hand. and maybe stretching out the cervical neck. The hands stacked together will actually be able to elongate the neck. Maybe inwardly rotating the thighs. And when I say that, I mean the knees more pointing together, the big toes pointing together and the heels splaying out. Just taking some time to get comfortable. That you want to play this practice will be mostly silent and mostly allowing you to take some time to decompress so if you have you know YouTube or your iPhone you have music or Amazon Prime please feel free to have that nearby and click play when you're ready for now we're on our bellies our hands stacked over each other with our forehead on our hands And I want you to start to notice. Start to notice your inhales and how maybe the low back rises on the inhale and softens on the exhale. We're gonna go ahead and do three exaggerated breaths together. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth, Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Last time, just like that. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. I want you to really notice how your low back rises on each inhale and how your diaphragm, which is this beautiful muscle, right underneath your ribs expands on the inhales. Starting to connect to that ujjayi breath. So creating that whisper or that constriction in your glottis.
taking some time to set an intention for class today. Maybe it's a body part that you just want to be aware of and take some care of or a person you want to send some light and some love to. Maybe you just want to spend this time being aware of your breath. Maybe aware of your feelings. Taking a couple moments to set an intention for class today. this slight whisper and this ujjayi breath, go ahead and come up onto your elbows. And we're gonna take this rolled blanket that we have, and you're just gonna place it under your lowest rib, just like a little bit above your belly button. Placing that blanket there, again, allowing the big toes to come towards each other, heels playing out, and coming to our elbows about shoulder distance apart for a supported cobra pose. Your gaze should be pointing out in front of you. Taking some time to really become comfortable in this pose. This is a chest opener and a throat opener. back to that ujjayi breath and something I love to do in yin yoga is to go ahead and allow my eyelashes to touch and my eyes to stay heavy and throughout this practice go ahead and allow yourself to close your eyes whenever it feels most comfortable for you and if any pose is not comfortable or doesn't suit you feel free to come to child's pose So in this cobra, with our palms on the ground, elbows shoulder width apart, if this is enough compression in your low back, stay right here. If you wanna go a little more, you're gonna go ahead and press into those hands, lifting the elbows and maybe walking the hands a little bit more forward if you want a little bit more compression. You should feel that almost in your low back, but really opening your chest and your heart and really tell yourself in your head, relax your glutes. Connecting to that ujjayi breath. We're here for another couple moments. If you want less compression, and you're up on your hands, you can go ahead and walk out away from you, or if you want more, walking in towards you. Wherever you are, making sure you can breathe. We're aiming for a stretch, but not pain. Yoga should never be painful. So try to find the difference there. If you're on your hands, coming down to your elbows, we're gonna go ahead and put our palms down under our shoulders and engaging through the arms as you press up to a tabletop and then go ahead and move that blanket out of the way from here we're going to go ahead and inhale drop the belly lifting the heart and the gaze exhale curling and rounding inhale cow pose exhale mad cat Inhaling to your cow, exhaling your cat, and continuing this motion with your breath.
On your next inhale, come to a nice straight spine. And we're gonna go ahead and take this blanket that we have all curled, hopefully. You're gonna go ahead and release that. And just make almost like kind of a square. And we're gonna place that over to the right side of our mat. From here, going back to your tabletop, bringing the, feet, the knees about a foot length behind you and lowering down as slowly as possible. From here, you're gonna go ahead and extend your arms out long to a T. Taking a breath here, your lips or your forehead on the mat. You're gonna take this blanket over right outside of your left head, side of your head. So you're actually gonna keep your left hand and shoulder right where they are, and you're gonna go ahead and roll onto that shoulder. From here, taking your right arm and grabbing for that opposite arm and head Releasing your head down. You should have a nice straight cervical spine here. And taking your top foot, should be your right, and placing that down on the mat. It should be a shoulder opener. Feeling it in the deltoid of your shoulders. If this is too much, go ahead and release that top arm just placing it by your side and your body or down by your head. And if you want a little bit more, maybe grabbing for the hand and pulling. Making sure your cervical neck is straight. Coming back to the Ujjayi breath. Place the hands on top of each other and come to crocodile pose. Just like how we started class today. So the hands are stacked on top of each other, forehead on the hands. Taking some moments to breathe here. Go ahead and notice that reflow of blood hitting your shoulder right now. Notice how that feels. The idea behind yin yoga is holding these postures for an extended period of time to really allow that fascia time to relax. When you're ready, go ahead and move the blanket or your pillow to the opposite side of the mat, extending your arms out like T's. Inhaling here, and on an exhale, go ahead and roll over onto that right arm, giving yourself a little pillow. Option to keep that left arm 
out to the side in front of your face or grabbing behind and bring the top leg to the mat. When you get comfortable allowing your eyes to get heavy and eventually closing down. When you're ready, taking that top arm and bringing it out to in front of you. And then rolling off of that shoulder. Come into crocodile, but this time the left hand is on top, right hand on the bottom, forehead on the hands. Coming back to that ujjayi breath. And really noticing that re, the flow of blood flow and how that feels on your right shoulder. Next, inhale, planting your hands under your shoulder, keeping the knees on your mat, coming up on an inhale to a tabletop, keeping the knees exactly where they are, big toes to touch, exhaling, child's pose. Your arms might drag down a little bit, take some time just to get comfortable, and maybe the you can use the arms to create a pillow for the head or the head comes down to the mat. Taking one breath here. Your next inhale, coming up to your tabletop. And when you're ready, you're gonna go ahead and come to a seat facing the back of your mat. Now, if you found something that can be used as a block, or two. What we're going to do is do a chest opener. So we're going to place one block. I personally like the highest setting, but any setting works. Right behind, um, so it's going to go right on your, below your heart, stretching up your spine, and the second block on the lowest setting behind it, like a T. We're going to extend the legs out long, setting up the block, and it will take some time to kind of finesse the block to the right spot. That's normal. So go ahead and take that time as you need it. Inhaling, having a nice straight spine, and exhaling, just coming down onto the blocks as you're ready. Setting up so that block is right on your thoracic vertebrae and then releasing your head to the lowest block. So if you maybe only have one block right now, just placing it behind your vertebrae, and then releasing your head to the pillow, or to the blanket.
This chest opener really works the shoulder blades back that we just opened up. Helps to mitigate that kyphosis, that rounding we have throughout the day. Allowing the big toes to separate, the palms to face up, and allowing the eyes to get heavy. And to eventually close down. Taking some time to notice if your heartbeat has become more aware to you. Letting this heartbeat radiate through your body and your chest. Really just taking a moment to notice that. pose we're simply going to go ahead and roll without engaging many muscles or anything roll over the right side of your mat maybe coming to that fetal position and then pressing up removing those blocks out of the way and when you're ready go ahead and lying straight on your back bring the knees into the chest Maybe rocking from side to side for a moment. Option to do perform C pod, bring your head up to your knees and taking some exaggerated breaths or grabbing for a happy baby. Grabbing the inside arches of the feet and rocking side to side, maybe stretching one foot out and then the other. Really allowing your sacrum to be flat on the floor so not really curling through the spine if you're going for a happy baby wherever you are go ahead and bring the knees into the chest one more time option to grab behind the knees and rock and roll to a seated position or if that's not really something you like to do just come to a seated position however you like for our next pose we're going to need that wall space so if that is an actual wall or a dresser or a couch or anything you have available is perfectly okay so we're going to go ahead and put our glutes right against the wall So our glutes are against the wall, kind of on the side of the wall. And when you're ready, go ahead and extend your legs out long. So your glutes should still be against the wall. From here, taking your right ankle and crossing it over the opposite knee. Inhaling, making sure you're flexing the extended leg and the bent leg. Maybe bringing the arms to grab underneath the straight leg's thigh. Inhaling here. Exhaling, bending the straight leg to come into a pigeon pose against the wall. Now if you want to use your knee to press 
that leg out to get more of a stretch. Try not to press out the knee, go towards the hip. Really feeling this stretch in your piriformis, which is a muscle in your glutes. As this becomes easier, feel free to allow that left foot to glide down the wall a little farther. Really flexing through the right foot, protecting that right knee. Taking some time to come back to your ujjayi breath. holding this pose. Your next inhale, straightening out the left foot, having the right foot come to match it and maybe popcorning it out. Maybe stretching the toes, going in circles with the ankles, whatever you need to do to reactivate that blood flow to that piriformis muscle. When you're ready, taking that opposite foot and crossing the ankle over the knee, keeping that left foot flexed, maybe grabbing under that right thigh as it bends down, again, pressing out the hip. I want you to notice if this side is more or less tight or it feels different than before. Not to judge what's going on in your own body, just to notice the differences, if they exist at all. As time goes by, if you can bring your leg, your right foot a little closer down the wall, feel free. Taking some time to come into your ujjayi breath for this last remaining pose. Inhale, straightening up that right foot and allowing the left to follow. Again, option to wiggle the knees or the ankles. And I invite you to take Savasana up the wall. So that can be simply moving the glutes away from the wall, allowing the feet to stay exactly where they are, making sure your head is heavy and relaxed, palms faced up, or maybe palms on your belly, whatever is more comfortable. And if that just doesn't feel white for you, go ahead and take an extended Shavasana on the mat. Taking a moment to step back into your intention today. Seeing if that intention still maybe is bright for you, or maybe setting another tension for yourself.
deepening your breath. Maybe wiggling your fingertips or your toes. Maybe extending your arms out long for a full body stretch. Maybe coming over to the right side of your mat, coming into the position of rebirth. Taking a moment to notice that this is always a time to take everything you've grown from and you've experienced and go ahead and use that to rejuvenate yourself and have a brighter and beautiful Wednesday. Coming to a seated position from wherever you are. When you get there, allowing your eyes to get heavy. Closing back down again. Maybe noticing how this practice has made you feel. The good, the bad, the indifferent. Bring your arms down by your hips on an inhale, sweeping them all the way up around you. We're in that prayer to your heart center to so acknowledge the community we create when we practice together, even when we're apart. Bowing the head down towards the hands as we all say together, Namaste. Thank you.